Well, I think what you're not understanding is uh, the uh, interconnectedness that exists among uh, Asian countries that was split by the Western colonial era and then is now being re-established again. And the best way to illustrate this is with the uh, Nalanda project, uh, which I mentioned in the book. Now, Nalanda was the Harvard of the East. It was the leading place of learning for 700 years from the 5th to the 12th century until the Turkic invaders came and destroyed uh, Nalanda. Now, eight, for 800 years, it was forgotten. Guess what? In the 21st century, there's an effort to revive it. And what's significant about Nalanda was that, was that was the place in India where scholars came from West Asia, scholars came from Southeast Asia, scholars came from China, scholars came from Japan and from Korea. And it showed the desire to revive this project shows that Asians want to come together again. But the West never reports this, never sees this. And these are the new, there's a new dynamic emerging in Asia that people in the West are not aware of.